We're at Brookside Bowl with Jim J.J. Johnson for the final match, championship match of the Youth Top 10 Tournament. Junior Division, Keith Poppity, our first bowler. With a strike. And a good shot. <laughs> and a terrific shot to start off. I think he covered every single board on the right side of the lane. Yes, he did. And knocked every pin down. Sure did. Ralph McCall, our challenger. Keith was a tournament leader. In the semifinals, where are we here? In the qualifying for the tournament, Keith was on top. He had 11.21. Ralph was second with 11.01, 5.84, 5.17. And in the preliminaries, DJ Morin defeated Bill Sapinski, 172 to 144. DJ Warren defeated Jerry Thornton, 167 to 158. And Ralph McCall defeated DJ, 203 to 199. A real close match. Ralph is uh, 14. He averaged 171. His parents are Ralph and Karen. He has a little brother, Clint. He bowls at Boarama and Pike Creek. His high game is 279, high series 621. Everybody in his family bowls, and he's been bowling for three years. This is also a grudge match. Two years ago, in the prep division, it was Ralph McCall versus Keith Poppity. And Keith was the winner of that one. So Ralph owes him one. Ralph definitely owes him one. And a good spare. Good spare. And a ball. And here's Keith. And he's trying to set some new records in our top 10 record book. This is his third year in a row that he's been in the championship match. And his 16th appearance on the Junior Bowlers Gazette, of which he's won 12. And he's all of 13. And he's 13 years old. Mother's Roxella, his father's Anthony, his brother is Kevin, who's also made numerous appearances on the junior show over the years. Bold at Price Lanes and Pike Creek. High series 27 or high game 277 and 268. High series. I know he had a 639. I'm sure he's had much higher than that. He didn't mark anything down for that. He won the Youth Top 10 in 87, a junior singles classic. He won twice. JBT Delaware Invitational Tournament. He won the JBGA Championship. Whoa. Yeah, I flipped that one out a little too far. Been bowling for six years. Seems like 16 years. It's a name. <laughs> you always hear it, which he's earned it, so. Ralph McCall, third year bowler. On Jersey, mix them up. And that's not too bad when you consider this is his third year bowling and he's made the top 10 all three years between two divisions. Yeah, and he's so made the finals, or the, he's made the semifinals anyway, all three times. Rockets that ball down there, hit the head pin. If he makes a spare, he's down by just five pins. Left handers have not fared well over the years in the top 10 tournament. Just have not done that well. We've had four. Winners. Keith's brother, maybe. Keith's brother was <laughs> two of those winners. <laughs> there you go. And 56 right-handed winners. Uh oh. So the left-handers don't do well in this tournament for some reason. That's because there's more right-handers. Yeah, but 56 to four. That's <laughs> and here's a. Interesting statistic that Keith might not like at this point. The tournament leader 
Out of 64 tries, the tournament leader has won 30. Less than half. Mm hmm Not good percentage. He said he's going to try to even it up, so. The way he threw three out of the four balls, uh, looks, I'd say he's, he's pretty he's, good. He, he's going to make an effort for that. See what he does here. Here it comes. Good uh, ball. It's it was. a good ball. He's hit a little light in the pocket after week 10. We've had two bowlers over the years in the top 10. Uh, this is our ninth annual tournament. Two bowlers have bowled a total of 10 matches in all the years. Both girls, they both won seven of the matches and lost three. And they're Michelle Piasecki and Stephanie Merrick. Whoa. Keith makes a spare. Is, that's and a that's a fifth frame. And that means we'll be back right after this important timeout. And we're back with action at Brookside. The ninth annual youth top 10 junior boys division. Ralph McCall, the bowler. $250 scholarship for the winner, $100 for the runner up. Mm. Pulled that one a little. And still a close match. Seven pins? Seven pins. Yeah, seven pins. Close, good, good match. A good match. Uncovered a spare. Keeps it close. The highest series we ever had in the top 10 tournament was rolled by Keith's brother, Kevin. That was last year. He had an 8.04. Ouch. I just hate when that happens, huh? Boom. Whoa. That speed kills there. So the ball driving through the pins, it deflected and didn't take out the five, which if it would have took out the five, it would have took out the eight. Ralph McCall. Should be an easy good, good follow through, trouble. but put it out a little too far. Not giving the ball a chance to work. It's just throwing the ball too hard and it's not working. Too used to the dry lane. We're in a hurry, I don't know which. No, I think too used to the dry lane. Got to give that ball a chance to work. Like that. It was a good shot by Keith. Get the ball working for you, not against you. Right now, Rouse got to let Rouse got to be so accurate. It's just it's almost near impossible to beat somebody that's on a working ball. You got to be that. Accurate. Knock all the pins down. Shot. There's your shot. <laughs> Had to be. The JJ can't get by shot. one. Of the, can't get by a game without that shot. So he's gonna show us how to make it this time, though. Yeah, we've seen enough ways of how not to. I think I jinxed that. He's gonna put an end to that right here. There. That's how it's supposed to be. All three made. pins with the ball you'll make. Ralph McCall. In the seventh frame. Got that high back swing. That's where he gets his speed from. Get the spare. Maybe get something put together. 20, 21 pins at the moment. Still open for debate. Oh, yeah. Plenty of frames left. Lots of boxes to fill. That's one fill. 
keeps it at 21. And see what happens here. That is our ninth annual. I can't believe it, JJ. Ninth I'm annual. Old, Top ten. God, you're right. But at least it's successful. Right? It's, that's what that longevity. Can't wait till next year. Hey, yeah, I'm party. Tenth annual. We'll have to do something special. There We're working go. on a couple of things for next year. There you go. Going to knock their socks off. <laughs> Big bash, have a yeah. big bash. Tournament Ten. of champions, where they are, where are they yeah, now? Yeah, where they are today. <laughs> Ten years later, there's two of them. Jerry Miller. Yeah, Mark Willis. This is one of them. Yeah, yeah, they both prepare. We've had some good bowlers over the years who have made the top. Nicky Williams, Gene Carter, yeah. Chuck Cosner. I think you've heard some of those names before. Jeff Clark, Kevin Poppity, quite a few names. Karen Michella, Debbie Cuisenberry, Stephanie Merrick, of course, Jill Houchins. Right now, it's Ralph McConkie popping. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Alvin Messersmith. Yeah. I'm sure you know him. Ooh. Brian Warner. There's Keith's favorite shot. Or is that Nicole Markey's favorite shot? <laughs> she doesn't want to talk about that. Nah, right? She's had a big smile on her face now. <laughs> Keith Poppity in the ninth. That's about all of this wrapped up, unless Ralph can go out here. Ralph McCall in the ninth. Needs a lot. Yes, he does. Needs a lot. I don't know about do it. Keith Poppany is going to be our winner. All but mathematically shut out. And is our all-time scholarship leader. At the ripe old age of 13. <laughs> and he just turned 13. He's got a long way to go. Keeps this up, he's going to hit $3,000 before long. Before next year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's saying, watch out, big brother, I guess. That's it. Now, yeah, Ralph just couldn't get anything started today. No, he couldn't. He did good in the preliminaries. And just couldn't find it down here on the tournament lanes. Well, he'll get a hundred dollar scholarship for his efforts. So. Like you said, no loser here. That's right. And more TV experience. That's it. More tournament experience. That's what counts. Get out of your own house, bowl in tournaments in other houses, that's what's going to make you a good bowler. If you're a house bowler and you only bowl in one house, that's you're just not going to get bowl. anywhere. Right. 151 for Ralph. A little subpar. Keith poppy has got that much already. Or didn't carry for him and relatively easy four points. Well, he's now buttered his record. He's two and one in the championships for the top ten. Oh, 
And he's won 12 out of 16 matches, 13 out of 16 matches. An even better percentage. I bet Earl Anthony didn't do that good on TV. You're going to need your calculator at your table to keep up. You're right. You ran out of fingers. You're right. <laughs> fingers, toes. Another year of this, and I'm in deep trouble. 181, 151. 181, 151. Keith Boppity, the winner of the junior division of the Youth Top Ten Tournament for this year. We'll be back with more right after this. We're at Brookside Bowl with Jim J.J. Johnson, pro bowler, manager, announcer for the Youth Top Ten, ninth Annual, Major Boys Division, Bill Ripley, the bowler. Bill, 16 years old, averaged 189. Parents are Bill and Bernice, brother Colin, sister Delane. Let's roll a 300 game. That sounds familiar. <laughs> 777 series. I wonder if his parents play that in the lotto. I think I would. Was a top 10 winner previously. Everybody in his family bowls. Been bowling for nine years. And we have here Rob Charles, 15 years old, finished with a 183. Parents are Diana and Bob. Bowled in the Pike Creek Dick Rickers League. 279, 761 are his highs. Was the Delaware Coca Cola champ, 1988. The Amco National Family Champ went to Washington for the finals in that, along with Nicole and Barbara Markey. Junior Singles Classic Champion last year. Ripley. Bowed some numbers today to qualify for a show. That he went through the field with some big Yes, scores. he did. Yes, he did. He was the fourth place qualifier in the first match against Rich Young. He rolled a 237. The second match against Tom Norris, he rolled a 222. And in the semifinals, he rolled a 236. 695. I guess he wanted it bad, huh? It sounds like it. Now we'll see what the tournament pair is like. That, that, that's a different story altogether there. Man, some early trouble. Rob Charles had a 727 and a 591 to turn out the tournament leader, 1318. Bill Ripley had a 507 and a 504 to come in his fourth place. Good shot by Bill there. Rob should have an advantage, having already bowled the game on the TV pair earlier. Yes. And so far, he's got the first three, and that doesn't hurt. Three great shots. He's right at home here. He's in yes, your everyday he's, practice. He's, He's been here a lot. We've only had four left-handed winners in nine years of our tournament. Two of them by the same person, Kevin Poppening. Wow. Looks like somebody's making a strong effort to be number five. He's trying to get a new high game. I'll say. Four in a row. There you see it. Bill Ripley's got some pressure on him right now. He's going to try to answer it right here. And there's two in a row for Bill. There, there he goes. We may have one of our all-time high matches here. Our all-time high match, of course, was up at Holiday two years ago in the finals of our Bowers Gazette Youth Tour, 279 to 255. Not that's bad. Numbers. No, that's not bad shooting. That's great shooting. And Bill a little quick there on his feet, fell off balance and got the ball a little wide, just flipped it out. He knows it. He's Cover. bowling well, but he's in trouble. <laughs> Good 
pickup. And and he makes a spare. That's yeah. a fifth frame. That means we'll be back for more the Junior Bowlers Gazette after this timeout. We're back at Brookside with Jim J.J. Johnson and Rob Charles, who's taking the commanding lead in our tournament at this point. That's the first four in a row. Well, he got that one wide. Just flipped it out, got there a little quick. After the break. Still got the lead. Yeah, about 30 pins at the moment. Then he gets a spare. Need a bigger eraser for our statistician. I think so. <laughs> I think so. It's getting late for her. She's messing up here. She's trying to mess us up. She's doing it on purpose. Rob trying to come back and did do a nice shot. See if Bill Rip can get something going here. Bill Rip, the Ripper. Yeah, that looked good to me. Threw that one well. Yeah, he just got that little, that fifth one he got a little hurry, and flipped it out, and lost a little bit of finish. Thirty pins, about thirty-three, 33 pins here. Pin. Cut it to twenty-three with a strike here. Yeah. He's not out of the woods yet. That's a strike. Oh, yeah. And he looked real good on that one. Well, he's been in the finals before for this tournament. He's won one, matter of fact. That knocks it down to 23. He's won one and lost one. Rob can take it right back to 33. And he did. Yep, sure did. Well, definitely a high game of the night right here. Oh, so, well, it should be. Yeah. Major guys. They're supposed to bowl good games once in a while. Not always, but supposed to. Well, I can go up to 43 pin. He looks locked in. Classic confrontation, right-hander, left-hander. One of your favorite <laughs> confrontations. Right. Well, I'll pull a right hander on any time. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Bill trying to take it back to 33. A little quick. Ooh. Little Could quick, have been. A little quick and pulled the shot. It's tough to keep up with Rob. He jumped on that big start. I'll say. Fell out four in front of the gate. Yeah. Put pressure on quick. A bad game, that's for sure. Not. He's going to the 204 pace, but Rob just says he wants to go to 240 pace, mm -hmm. possible 278. So. Good shot there. He's not giving up yet. No, he's not. Rob's in good shape, though. He flipped that one out. Mm. He flipped that out a little bit. 43 pins at the moment. Good match here at Brookside. Good score. Super score here. A little quick. 
quick, but that does it. It's all yeah. locked up. That's, that's just about what he needed. In the 240s with the spare. Best Bill could do is 224. Yeah, he missed and it. he missed it, but it doesn't matter. 235 for Rob Charles, our winner in our ninth annual Youth Top 10, the Major Boys Division. $250 scholarship for Rob, $100 for Bill Ripley. Bill's going to end up with a 2 0 game. He bowled a good game, but not good enough under this condition. 200 would have won any other game we yeah. had today. Bill had a great day. A couple 230s, a 220, and a 20. He just bowled his best games at the wrong time <laughs> when he didn't need them. In the semifinal game, he, he beat his opponent by 100 pins. <laughs> he just ran up against a line, that's all. He should have saved some of those strikes for this one. Good game, good match. 201. 201 for Bill Ripley. 233 for Rob Charles. Winner this year's Youth Top 10 Major Boys Division. We'll be back with more news and information right after this.